Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where last episode we kind of lost a little bit of ground due to uh, the contingency deciding to spawn two territories in our territory. So uh, that was a little awkward, but we eliminated them very, very quickly and it shouldn't be a big deal. So we're working on bombarding up over here. This says no orders, but they're actually bombarding Sterilization Hub 001. And we're surveying that and we'll grab this as soon as we can. There's also some debris out over here. Interesting. I'm not sure why there would be debris here. From the Kingdom of Yonderin, living reactive armor. Don't we already have living reactive armor? I mean, we can grab matter disintegrators. We may as well. We probably should do that. Matter disintegrators are, after all, very, very good. Like, they're they're not good against shields, but essentially the matter disintegrators would replace our current plasma. So that would be okay, I think. And let's take this up to fastest speed. And we've got a long ways to go as far as replenishing our ships, right? A very long ways to go. I don't actually know exactly how far, like how many alloys it's going to cost to rebuild our fleets. It's going to be a lot. There's no doubt about that. These guys are currently upgrading. And actually, we need a new admiral here. I guess Jenna Alkadi will do. And this number here was fluctuating pretty wildly last episode. It's currently saying about 400,000. It was fluctuating between four and 600,000 last episode. We'll see how real this 400,000 number is. It's going to be interesting. Any way we slice it, it's a lot. Right? <laughs> okay, now it's 300. Now it's 400. Station. It's still just fluctuating around. Okay. So we're attacking the Tunari Vortex up here and getting these guys chased back in. This is not going to be a problem. Our ships have been made superior. Fantastic. And these guys are going to want to go upgrade to the latest design soon. As soon as this month dick happens anyway, the game is currently frozen. I'm guessing they're coming in via this wormhole. a new planetary base. I don't know where this wormhole connects to. We could find that out eventually, but we want to go upgrade. So that's going to Nithiscal? Sure, that's Our fine. Ships have been that's made completely superior. and totally fine. This fleet is heading for upgrades. Cool. And we're bombarding with this fleet. Okay. So what do we have over here? We've got the first fleet, which is, I mean, the first fleet is where basically all of our alloys have gone into. Uh, we do need to do a little bit of upgrading, and let's do that literally right here. You don't need to go to the other they mega shipyard for that. Spaceport. The enemy is targeting one of our stations. Okay. Our enemies hurl themselves at one of our planets. Yeah, that's to be expected. And for the time being, we're just kind of chilling, and we'll come back to these guys a little later on. We could take the BOS Tectonic and jump drive up to Subra. Hmm, that super station is reasonably strong. Okay, I think for the time being, we'll just chill. Our now, actually, this fleet, superior. this fleet here, we can we can begin to reinforce that, and we can take it up to Arcturus. That'll be fine. We established a colony out over here. Okay, <laughs> that'll require some work. Yeah, actually, I just looked at this. Yikes. We lost a lot of our naval cap fighting the contingency. It's okay. We'll be able to recover this. It's not the biggest of deals. We need a fleet leader over here. This guy will do. Cool. Our enemies hurl themselves at one of our planets. So let's go ahead and take the second fleet up over here as well. They are assaulting and our spaceport. The real question is how long until these contingency sterilization hubs are gone? 23% here. Okay. So that's going to free up some of our fleets, no doubt about that. I do want to let this month tick pass. There we go. Cool. And let's go down over here and take a quick look at our, not necessarily our fleets, although that's probably also important to do. I wanted to come look at our armies here and go into like Garanth. How strong is this? Zero. And 543. So that seems doable. This transport fleet is likely going to have to go take back Subra. 
So we're going to head over to Arcturus. The Tigris is just chilling up here. That's fine. And what fleets do we have that aren't doing anything? The third, the ninth, the fourth, the fifth, and the other ninth. <laughs> okay, sure. So where are we going to send these fleets? Well, out over here is not a bad idea. Get this under control. So we'll send them up to Philomir for the time being. And we'll continue to reinforce our fleets. This is now saying 383,000. Okay. Our warriors are victorious. And, and that was a successful okay. invasion somewhere. Uh, let's see here. That would be these guys. Right. So they're out over here. And they can invade here, no problem. Go ahead and do so. Beautiful. So they have an order now. The BOS Tectonic is here. Where is... Did we lose our other Juggernaut? We must have. Yeah, we definitely must have. Okay. Well, we'll just go ahead and do that. These two, for the time being, are going to jump drive up over here. They should be strong enough to win that on their own. And defend our territory there. This is going to be a whole nother story. We'll come back to that. Our ships have been made superior. The seventh fleet just finished up. I would like for the seventh to make its way over here. Again, we're going to need a lot of alloys. We uh, are going to need a whole lot of them. Let's go ahead and sell off some of our resources. We're just tanking the price down to minimum here. And then once the price hits minimum, we're stopping there for the time being. Uh, that should all be minimum prices. And we're then going to buy in as many alloys as we can. It's not going to be a lot. It's going to be a few. 5.8k. Sure. So we're going to immediately spend that on our fleets. There we go. So that's all underway. I do want to come in here... And check for additional jobs. So we've got this Forge World here. Okay. Honestly, I hate to say it, but we need civilian industries here. What else do we need, jobs-wise? Well, <laughs> we need a lot more civilian industries, is the, the unfortunate answer. But it'll have to do. This colony, we can go ahead and clear these tile blockers if we hadn't have just spent all of our money. But that's fine. They are assaulting our space There's this factory world here, and we mostly need housing here. An industrial district would kind of solve that. Kind of. There are a lot of available jobs here. Okay. First step. We build a civilian industry. Second step, we replace this admin complex with a Ministry of Production. Third step, we build a city district. No, we don't. We build industrial districts and, like, max out the industrial districts here. <laughs> Something along the lines of that. Okay, there's this urban world here. It needs housing. Swapping off of a mining, actually off of a generator district over to a city district would largely solve that problem. And then there's this factory world here. It just needs a demotion, so nothing too major there. Okay, so we know that they're attacking over here, right? That's definitely a thing that they're doing. Initiating We're jump driving on over. There was a synth Victory infiltrator, apparently. The cowards have destroyed one of our spaceports. And we're our just going to take this victorious. over as quickly as we can. We should be able to do this without major incident, I think. That said, there's a lot of little little guys out here, and we're not Our hitting this station. Are victorious. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of little units over Our here. Enemies hurl themselves at one of we'll see how that ends up going. For the time being, I do want to hop over to our fleets here. There we go. The first fleet is one of our more powerful ones. But I want to take the first, third, ninth... Uh, actually, yeah, we'll take five fleets here. One, two, three, four. 
and 5. All of these are going to group up in Acer. Their goal is going to be to come back over here and strike at that area. The 6th and the 5th fleet, along with the 9th, they are going to head into Philomir. Something like this. And we will reinforce our fleets. Now under 300,000 is what this is saying. That number is fluctuating so wildly. I don't know what's real and what isn't. Okay. We're still hitting non-spaceport things here. And the month tick is happening. Any moment now, month tick. There we go. Our ships have been now we're starting to hit the spaceport a little bit, but it took us a really long time to clear this stuff up. Like a really long time. And they pop in over here. So that means, of course, that we need to retreat. We're out of there instantly when we see these fleets. We did get some damage there, the fleet has made the but we're out of there. Sacrifice. Cool. So, of course, we do need to continue to reinforce our fleets. How are things looking over here? We're getting some help bombarding that, but we're actually only at 5%. Really? Oh, these guys are on selective. Get them to indiscriminate. There we go. How are things looking up over here? Uh, they are on indiscriminate, and we're at 27. It's not great, is it? The so these fleets are on their way in here. Uh, we're not really super well suited to deal with this yet. But as these fleets move in, it should get we better. Have established a new planetary base. But most of these fleets are actually moving out. So we have settled here. Sounds good. Okay. So they moved in a lot of forces over here. Noted. That's completely fine. That means that those forces aren't elsewhere doing things that are, you know, more damaging. So we like that. We've got roughly 300k here. Which isn't enough to take out this force. Noted. It'd be really convenient to have our this fleet freed up. At one of our That's for sure. Very, very, very convenient. Hmm. So, I mean, they're invading one of our worlds. I don't know which one. Maybe over here. It doesn't really matter all that much. They're not on any of our major worlds. Earth 2, huh? Hmm. Okay. Well, as soon as the month stick gets caught up here, we'll make a decision. Immigration pull. It doesn't really matter. So, we'll not rename it. Cool. This does need to be colonized, and we'll get that done. There we go. And we will, of course, continue to work on reinforcing our fleets. So how are things going out over here? Rocket cleared. We're making our way over slowly. And these guys are... I, I really do want the our reinforcements to go over to here. So yeah, they're attacking planets. Congrum. That's fine. We could actually move this force over to here and attack Beta Equilet. Yeah, that seems okay. The Seventh Fleet isn't doing anything right now, and we're going to move it down this direction. We're attacking Parrot here, and I do want achieved. to make sure that these guys are actually doing things, right? So, Vipelor, if I recall correctly, was pretty easy to attack, so we'll go ahead and do that. Yep. Over here in Gear, there's a lot of stuff. 986, 1153, and 155. We'll attack the 155. Cool. And these guys are in Arcturus. For the moment, that's fine. We're going to need to go back to Supra eventually. We just got extra dimensional weaponry finished up. And we should be back to auto research. There we go. Cool. So with extra dimensional weaponry finished up, we do want to change over... This design, yeah, that design exists. We want to change over from plasma cannons over to matter disintegrators, almost certainly. They're a little bit shorter range, but they are substantially higher damage. They're not as good against armor. But it does deal additional multiplicative damage based on the target ship's size. 
So not quite as good against armor, but much better against larger ships and dealing slightly more damage, better accuracy, and better tracking. And a lower cooldown. I think it makes sense. A ship of this design is currently being built. Yeah, so we're going to have to wait until our ships stop being built to do that. Oh, I did not mean to scroll up quite that far. I wanted to take a look at some of these. Uh, let's see what we've got here. So that's a colony ship. We're working on a Titan right now and making a pair of frigates. Victory shall be ours. Okay. So that's fine for the moment. The enemy dares to occupy one of our planets. Yeah, they're very rude. What are you going to do, though? So these guys have retreated back to Arcturus. As soon as the month tick gets caught up, we will see about doing something there. 2,000 energy credits. Okay, sure. And we're going to repair these fleets. Cool. So I think we're probably going to move them over to here as soon as we are done repairing. Enemy station. So that's fine for the moment. And actually, mm, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. We're not going to upgrade our ships, though. Like, we're not going to upgrade our existing ships. Scourge missiles are, I think, fine here. We're not going to do anything for frigates. Destroyers, I'm going to swap them to having a single Stormfire autocannon, but then running Matter Disintegrators. Like that. Cool. Cool. So for cruisers, I'm going to do, like, the same sort of thing. Stormfire autocannons and matter disintegrators, like so. And for battleships, they're just going to be sitting back with their kinetic artillery. And same with titans. So that is all completely and totally fine. So that looks good. At this point, we can resume our construction. There we go. Excellent. So, we're going to have some additional fleets out over this way. As soon as these are done, I think we send them over here. How are we looking, as soon as this month tick is done, with our fleets to respond up this way? Well, it's actually not showing anything, but there we go. Up this way. So, these guys are heading over. It'll take them a little while yet to get there. Battle I do going. want to work on replenishing this fleet... There's a lot in here right now. Okay. So we're looking up over here. I do want to check in on our armies. These guys require orders, and... Hmm. Let's see how they do landing here. I'm not necessarily expecting miracles out of that, but let's see. So we've got these guys sitting in Oxiden. It's going to require some work. The surveyor has been activated. Sure. These guys are now almost done being repaired. Almost. They're now done. So we're going to move them, as soon as the month tick is over, we're going to move them up over this way. Come on, month tick. You can do it. There we go. Into Oxiden. There you go. Cool. And we're going to continue to reinforce them. Fantastic. So these guys are on their way over here. This is where the bulk of our fleet power is going. Our warriors are How victorious. are we doing on our bombardment up over here? Initiating ground 35%. It's going to be a while. It is definitely going to be a while. And here we're at 13%. Okay. Well, we definitely need to focus on these guys, retreat. right? Our and enemies hurl themselves at one of our planets. Ah, the contingency has spawned another unit here. Okay. However, there's a lot of AI forces here. Our enemies hurl themselves at one of our planets. And this contingency fleet isn't going to be a problem. So that'll be okay. These guys are in Paragear, and I'd like to move them in here. Cool. So we'll get that taken over. The Synth Detection Project. We should definitely do that. So we'll go ahead and research that. That'll be done in 34 months. Checking in down over here. We have enough, I think, to attack Beta Aquilae. And let's go ahead and do so. These forces are spooky. No doubt about that. 
But once we get a Elgate taken over Beginning in like Delphi, on enemy station. Mm, we're gonna have to actually the invade enemy there. I dares think. To no, no, one of our I don't think we will. But once we get a gateway taken over here, we'll be able to respond to these guys and move forces around much more easily. So that'll be okay. This force is ready to move into Jalau, and that should be doable. So go ahead and land your armies there. Looks good. We're definitely making our way through this. There's not that much left of their original territory. So that'll be good. Beginning attack run on enemy station. We're attacking Beta Aquilae. And this shouldn't be a problem. A scientist was exposed as a synth. Okay. That was the our society researcher. To occupy one of our planets. And we'll go with, I guess, this person. Sure. So we move on in here and eliminate this station with no major issues, in theory. There we go. Cool. And these guys are all going to just chill here. And they'll get repairs. Fantastic. We will continue Initiating to reinforce over on this result. side as well. Victory shall ah, be are they bringing in all of their forces here? They are. Okay, so we're going to look to retreat here as soon as we can. We're going to do some damage to them. These guys are heading the wrong direction. Anytime now. Come on, game. You can catch up. There you go. So we're going to look to retreat very shortly here. They're going to bring in reinforcements, and that's going to be a problem. They haven't brought in the... Oh, Our they brought in the reinforcements over here. Okay. So we're out of here, right? And we knew that. We knew that we were going to be leaving here very quickly. <laughs> That'll all be fine. So they'll be back eventually. Our major the fleets over here will be done soon. They'll be in position. The contingency definitely complicated matters. There's no doubt about that. Really? 140,000? Oh, it's because we just retreated all of these. Yeah, that'll do it. When will they be back, though? Very shortly. Like, the end of this month. No, some of those are a year away, aren't they? No. No, they're all going to be back very shortly. Cool. So, yeah, they're back already. I love it. So, all of these guys... That are not up over here. That are not in Acer, right? So all of these that are not in Acer, we are going to look to... Should be a couple more than this, shouldn't it? Are they all up over here? Oh, they are. They're all up in Karenval. Okay, that sounds good. I want to get all of these to move an upgrade. We may as well do that since we need to repair anyway. So we'll get that going. And continue to reinforce here. Yeah, that's back up to 400,000 now. That number is fluctuating wildly. There's no doubt about that. But we're going to grab these fleets here. And we do have these reinforcements on the way in still. How long until you arrive, if I can select you? Base. The battleship is heading in now. Okay. So these fleets are relatively powerful, right? We're going to let them get put together a little bit. Move in this singular unit. There we go. And now we're going to select our five fleets here. And they are going to jump drive to Delphine. We should easily win this encounter. Our in theory. Are victorious. <laughs> in theory. So, we do need to come up over... Mm, we don't attack this. That's for sure. How are things looking up over here? 41%. Okay. So I think at this point, we make our way over like so. Cool. That looks good. And as far as our armies go, we successfully invaded in gear, it looks like. Do we attack here? We took a lot of losses. 
So I think that what we need to do is we need to have all of these come and enter orbit here and group up. Okay. We probably should queue up more armies as well. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to recruit a bunch of these. I wish that we could like shift click like in other Paradox games to queue up multiple at once. Alas, we cannot do that. So for now, I'm just spam clicking. Cool. We should probably build these from other locations as well, but it doesn't really matter because I'm not planning on utilizing them anytime soon. So that's good. There we go. I have no idea our how many that was, but it was a lot. Okay, so we have engaged over here in Delphi. We should have no problem winning this. Did they leave? They actually did. Cool. So this is taken over, and we now have access to our gateway. We will enter orbit here, and we'll begin repair work. We also likely want to get an invasion done up there, right? But we have definitely pushed them out of a lot of their territory over this way. Not all of it, but a lot of it. And at this point, mostly we're just playing catch up with our alloys, but we should still be quite a bit stronger than them economically. Inferior and pathetic. And commonality of Azan's Crucible is inferior and pathetic, even in this state. We should be very solid in our victories. So let's head down to Hoda here, and that'll be fine. But it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to continue to rebuild our fleets. And we are going to finish this war. I don't know if we're going to get it done next episode. But we're definitely going to make progress. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Kentogen, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Rogue Corvid, Anna the Elephant, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.